Hi, thanks for tuning in. This video is going to cover a few kind of rats and mice, for want of a better way of explaining it, some of the other bits and pieces that you might want to consider when you're configuring your Mystic system. I can't say that we're going to cover everything in this video, but these are just one or two ideas that have occurred to me since I made some of the earlier setup and configuration. So um, these are things that I haven't set already in the demo system that I've been showing you and I thought we'd better just go through and make sure that you have thought about these things. So firstly in the configuration under general settings you'll see the, BIS, the BBS name that Mystic ships with is just new Mystic BBS. So every time I create a message base it's going to use this name here unless I change it. So if you'll recall I've called my demo system Thor BBS so I'm going to update that and change it here. Also uh, the SISOP name, the system operator name, um, this is presented when you are FIDO polling another system. It will just show in the logs that it came from um, Thor BBS and the system operator was and here is where you want to change it. So uh, SISOP is called Joe User so we'll put Joe's name in there. The SISOP password, if you are using a default um, system install and for whatever reason you end up giving somebody or you forget to change some of the settings and people have the highest level of SISOP access, which is that S255 setting, I would strongly suggest you change the default password. Make it whatever you want, but don't make it that because it's just asking for trouble if somebody can get access to menus and if they want to be mischievous. So um, remember this password just to explain what it does because I like to follow through and show you all of these things. If I'm logged in as read72 and remember I am in this case the system operator so it's giving me the option to log in in a way that's not seen by the uh, call logs but when I'm logged in at this high security level you'll see that I have a system operator menu which I can call up with the forward slash and the star key and here these are powerful options if I want to get in and change some of the back end stuff that I'm doing with you right now. So if I wanted to get into system configuration I could press S and this is where that SISOP password comes into play. So if I go with the default password you can see from a logged in state in the bulletin board I can get straight into all the configuration stuff you and I are playing with right now. That is what the SISOP password is and can allow people access into assuming that they've got access to that menu option and that's a different kettle of fish but either way it's best to change that. So right now I'm going to change this password to one that obviously I'll never use again because I'm putting it out in a training video. So let's just call it, uh, oh I don't know, something equally bizarre like um, J-O-B job oh, one, two, three, four. I'm just making it up, but you know what I mean. So that is the SISOP password. Now the system password is a different one again uh, which relates to uh, if people want to um, access the system and you have some other settings in place that mean that they can only get in if they know that password. But for now just leave that as it is. Feedback 2, this is where if you wanted to um, you could make your feedback to red 72 which in this case is the alias I've used with that user. Um, the other things I'd suggest you do is turn on the logging for chat so that if you do chat with, system, with um, users it's going to just log the chat in a text file in case you want to go back and review what you guys discussed. You could perhaps change the hours for when if they paid you um, the system's going to just actively page you or otherwise default to I'm sorry the person's not here. And the other thing you may want to do is change the inactivity settings. So this is uh, 300 seconds. So what's that? Can't think. 5 minutes, 60 seconds times whatever. Um, but anyway this is something that sometimes people set to zero so that if someone's logged on and they're not doing anything for a while you don't want the system to hang up uh, straight away. 
um, then you can either make it completely inactive or maybe you might want to increase the time and make that maybe, uh, well, I don't know, 400 seconds. Anyway, consider changing that if you feel the need. Um, also in here, what else do we have? I would say this is pretty much stock standard. Um, you may wish to change the code page. In fact, we'll talk about that for a Raspberry Pi uh, video that I'll, I'll make in the near future. So just for now, go with those as the set, default settings. Your new user settings, you may wish to change some of these. If you're not in the States, perhaps you don't want to use the USA format. Um, you may wish to enforce a particular username format so when they're logging themselves in and creating an account it's either as typed or all the usernames have to be uppercase or lowercase or maybe by proper it means that the first letter of each name is capitalized. I usually just save it as as typed but it's up to you. And you can see here you can also set uh, the start message group and file groups for um, the users when they first join. Some of the other settings are up to you and optional, but you can ask for all sorts of things like the real name, the alias, um, what their gender is, uh, and on it goes. You might want to set the default date type to something that works for you. So you'll see here I've got it for month, day, year, but it could be that you want day, month, year as a format. So some of these... Um, the general rule from my perspective is less is more. If you ask lots of questions, it's just a turn off for somebody signing up. So just ask things that you really think you need to know, would be my advice. The optional fields as well, you can configure these. So um, if you do want to ask them, but generally I turn those off. The file based settings, uh, my top tip there is to turn list compression on. That means that although you might have multiple file bases uh, set up in the file base editor, depending on the security settings of each of those file bases, if you're a user logged in, you either see, say, mess, uh, file bases 1, 2, 3, 4, but you don't see 5 and 6, and you see base 7, 8, 9. So turning list compression on just means that they see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, but what it's doing is it's renumbering the bases according to the ones that they're allowed to see. I hope that makes sense to you, but it just means it's a nice tidy view for people. So generally I set that to yes. Um, the other thing I would do is also make sure list compression is set on in the message based settings and I would change the default origin down here so that I think actually this is where it does put the, um, the name of the BBS in your when you're creating new message bases so Thor BBS and I would set add ANSI prefix to yes and this one to yes as well uh, and I would also set create semaphore to message post which we've already done in an earlier video but if you haven't got that changed then my suggestion is put that on. So those are a few quick changes and settings there. The other things I think I would like to show you, um, I'll stay away from this stuff for now but let's just quickly go into the mystic directory itself and if we sort by type, when you go into the data directory, there are a couple of files in here, text files, if I sort by type, down the bottom that you might like to change. Now we've already touched on bad country, you'll recall this is one that allows you if you want to to ban connections based on country. But there's a couple of others here, there's an important one here called new letter. And if I open that up, it is a text file that is created and presented to new users that log into your bulletin board. Nothing says I love you more than taking the time to change this from the stock standard install and putting your own message in here. So my top tip for you on this one is just change that, make it personable, perhaps leave the last sentence in because it's nice to tell people how to delete the message but um, that's certainly one that I suggest you change, the new letter.txt file. Um, there's also a couple of other um, options in here as well. Let's just have a quick look. So this is the sysletter.txt, so this is what the system sends to you as the system operator when a new user logs in or, and creates an account. You might want to tweak that to make it look 
different to you, but that's really just for your benefit only. And there is a hack warn um, text file in here as well. So if somebody logs in multiple times to an account and they are unsuccessful, then the next time the person that owns the account logs in, they get sent this internal message and you can also customize that. So there we go. There's just a few things that you may want to consider um, to tweak a little bit further for your Mystic BBS. Thank you for watching. I'm sure I can think of a few others and I'll add them in due course, but for now that's probably all. Until next time, bye for now.